walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now Hey, when I lose But if I'm gonna lose you I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna lose it Oh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna go up here. start of the Clear Lake Trail. It's supposed to be rated a level three, which is the same difficulty as Imogene Pass. So far, very, very smooth. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time. Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it. There he is. Yep. <laughs> yep, no natural predators, so. It's selfie time. Oh, not selfie anymore. Here's well, Rob. It's quite, uh, quite an immediate drop here. Yeah. Wow. Are you guys familiar with the selfie circle? Selfie circle? No. There's a song to it. There's a song? Yeah. Did I call you? I'm Ian, Nolo Designs. We offer front skid plates gas tank skid plates, catalytic converter skid plate, rear diff skids, and we have a couple other prototype parts on the truck that we're hoping to be able to bring to market soon. Nora? Nora? Nora. <laughs> oh, she listens to you. Maybe she's just really familiar with your voice. Yeah. She's like, sorry, I jumped out of the car. stalled out little dirt bike thing. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah. We're okay. Good. Catch a few little off 
Skinny enough to just totally avoid it. I'm gonna have to get some of it though. Right here. Not too bad. In California, where I'm from, you don't have too many cascading waterfalls. So being able to see something like this is just really mesmerizing. In case you're wondering about dispersed camping, there are a few spots. You can see here, if you take the road to the left, it'll lead up a road, and really faintly, you'll see a small vehicle. That looks like the place to camp. So did you catch anything? I did. You did? How many? Well, I caught one, and I had at least two spit it out. Oh, oh. oh okay. Cool. So are we having fish tacos or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch everything. All right, everybody. It is time for your cooking segment, your overlanding cooking segment. So uh, this, this recipe has been passed on from generation to generation. Uh, basically, we just take a can of chili, add some cheese. We're gonna mix this together, heat it up, and then eat it with some tortilla chips. Let's show you all how to cook up this intricate meal. We're gonna use a pan. What does that look like? Alright, chili looks about ready. We're gonna make this extra fancy and add these little chicken bites. And yeah, that's about done. Chicken, cheese, chili, and then we're gonna have some guacamole too. And there you go, now you have some gourmet nachos. How was it, Rob? Mucho gudo. Mucho gudo. Mm -hmm. Got these uh, really big mosquitoes. Giant mosquitoes, but uh, this is a this kind of tells an interesting story. So the trail's closed now, and you can see this path. It looks like someone tried to drive up the mountain. Where were they thinking of going? And I wonder if that's the reason why this trail is closed. What do you think? Definitely. Uh, I would say that's probable. <laughs> yeah. Um, probable. Or they just be extra dramatic? I don't know. I mean, I think too, you gotta think. Oh, there's, there's that mosquito again. Yeah. I think it's probably about like reclamation in the habitat too. I mean, realistically, like if you stop everybody here, then it gives all this to just grow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have habitat. less people in it. Let's... So. Oh, oh, they're... This is very alpine. 
Clear Lake is one of the many beautiful places you'll find in the San Juan Mountains. It's highly recommended that you have four low or aggressive gearing, and if you don't, then you should have the ability to monitor your transmission temperatures and have upgraded cooling. Just like the Subaru that you see in this video, driven by Rebel Rally competitor, Carrie Lando. The third place team, Team Mountain Subi 1204, Carrie and Angie here in the X Cross at the seventh annual Rebel Rally. Not only am I honored to be able to call Carrie my friend, but big congratulations with the podium finish at the seventh annual Rebel Rally. Now, I need to ask you all a favor, and the thing is, I know Carrie is not going to ask. She is self-funding her competition, and the entry fee is anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000. I made a little donation. I actually took the proceeds from my imaging pass video where Carrie made an attempt up, you know, took the earnings from that and donated, and I had no idea that it costs this much to enter the race. Carrie has sponsors, but as you can imagine, when your entry fee is that large, her 10 or so sponsors aren't even going to cover like 25% of her entry fee. Check out Carrie's Instagram and you won't even see a place to make a donation to her team. You could buy Mountain Subi merchandise, t-shirts, mugs, or whatever. That might help a little bit, but I'm going to talk to Carrie. I, I chatted with her before the Rebel Rally competition. I told her, hey, you need to set something up. You need to set up like a Patreon account. That way, as people donate, they can see the progress of how much, you know, she needs to complete the goal to pay for her entry. Our Colorado adventures are not over yet. So stay tuned for next episode. We're going to be going over to Corkscrew Pass and Silverton Colorado. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more overlanding and outdoors content. Gonna miss you. <laughs> Gonna miss you too, buddy. Till next time. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss you. <laughs> Enjoyed. It was a pretty epic sure, trip, man. man. Yeah, this is one it was uh, a good trip, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah sure. Drive safe. All right. Give me one. <laughs> <laughs> I got these tiny hands. <laughs> All right. I think I did. I already say but no, I didn't. You just took that in my face. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.